You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Thanks for stopping by today. I'm going to make taffy with my Susie Homemaker Sweet Shop Taffy Puller. You'll have a ball pulling real taffy. It really works. We are going to find out a topper toys and green is not included. There's really not much in the box, but the machine and the instructions. Let me just take you around the box. Give a little tour of everything here. I like to show you the different color panels and graphics. Uh, let's see. Makes real taffy. Follow simple recipes and closed. No need for special foods. Use regular home ingredients. Uh, we're going to have some fun here. Oh, I forgot. Well, I haven't told you yet. I have a special bonus item I'm going to bring in today, which you have seen in other videos, and I'll show you why. That is the whole box. There's really not much more to it. Let me show you. I will show you the instructions. Now, the instructions are kind of brittle, so you have to be careful with them. Let me uh, turn this down here. And the machine itself is quite simple. Now, it needs a little cleaning, so I've been doing a lot of on video with you, so here it is. Here is my... Susie Homemaker Taffy Puller. Now, I have seen the one on the box that's the green one. This is the white one, all right? So basically, that's all you are doing is you are putting your taffy in your little taffy machine and turning and turning and turning till your taffy is the perfect consistency. Okay, so I will come back when I am ready and we'll clean that, but let's take the brittle instructions. Okay, let's read this together. Okay, here is the catcher. The catcher, okay, where's the catcher? Oh, here's the catcher. It says, pour taffy mixture into pan of your Susie Homemaker candy maker. Candy maker must be preheated for 15 minutes before using. I have the Susie Homemaker candy maker and I made candy in that, but not taffy because I was waiting for this. So I'm gonna bring in a second vintage uh, toy maker set and combine it with this. Now that's all I really need is two tablespoons sugar, four tablespoons light corn syrup, a pinch of salt, an eighth a teaspoon of butter. Mix sugar, corn syrup, salt, and butter together and then cook it in your candy machine and then you, let's see, after all that's done, oh and if you don't have the Susie Homemaker candy maker. It says pour taffy mixture into a pot and bring to a boil on top of your home stove. Boil until mixture darkens slightly or until candy thermometer reaches 240. Okay, so let's see. Then when that's all done, you remove from heat and cool in a pan for about 15 minutes. Then put taffy across paddles and center rod. Turn handle until taffy is white. To make striped colors, striped or color taffy, add two drops of food coloring. Right there, they're being very specific. Two tiny drops of food coloring. As you turn the handle, if desired, add one or two drops of flavor extract. Do not turn too long or taffy will turn white again. And then take taffy from taffy puller with a spoon. They show you nice wrapping it around there. Lightly grease your hands with butter. Roll taffy into balls in your hand and put on a piece of wax paper to harden. To clean machine, wash your warm water only. Do not put in dishwasher. Well, there you go. That's all there is to it. Let me gather some supplies. Let me uh, get my other machine in here and we're gonna have some fun with our Susie Homemaker sets. I will be right back. I did not forget. I'm just gonna let this soak a little bit. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna use any other cleaners on this because of this old plastic. So I'm just gonna spray this on, let it sit, and I will come back and then wipe it down. The handle is pretty dirty. I know that seems like a lot, but I want it to sit on there, so I'll be back. Okay, there is the Susie Homemaker Candy Maker, and you can just see already that there is a lot going on in here. I think I need a Q-tip to get really into these deep crevices. Now, I'm not going to use anything too abrasive on this. With these older plastics, you have to be, you have to be careful with the older plastics. Now some of this, none of this is actually going to touch the candy, but you still want to clean up a little, don't you? I do anyway. Now this, I definitely want to clean up. I didn't bring any Q-tips. Let me, let me grab some of those and I will come back and continue on. Okay, you'll see. Here, I will give you a nice look at this. I need some more liquid. I'll take it from there. There we go. Yes, there's little brown creds in these little crevices. 
I don't know if you could see the color difference between a clean one. There's a little hint of blue, but I think you get what I mean. It's coming out. Okay, it's a little better. That's a pretty simple machine. I think in general, you know, you see those electronic ones. If you've ever watched a YouTube video, of Big Taffy Machine, you are, I am the electronics. It almost seems like this is a plastic, but no, I think it's metal. It's like that fake chromey plastic, but maybe not. Okay, I think I want to try one thing on this. I'm going to go up a level in regards of cleaners. I like this. Let's just take this little panel, for instance. Oh, by the way, that's heating up in the back room. Remember, I said it had to heat up. You can kind of see like a little yellow hazing there. Let's just see if we can polish that out. And there you go. Much better. You can see the difference of this panel now to here where it's not clean like that. So if I was gonna really, let's just say, sell this toy or something like that, which I'm not, this is what I would do before I sold it. I'd want it to look as good as possible. Using it in the video, it's not as important. But for presentation, I always do like everything as clean as possible or to a certain extent. There, that looks so much better. That side to that side, huge difference. All right, so I don't need to bore you with this anymore. Maybe I'm not boring you, I don't know. Maybe I am boring you, I don't know. I never know who I'm boring. Been on YouTube for almost 10 years, 10 years coming up, 10 years, wee! I should have a 10 year nothing video. A video of just nothing. That'd be fun if I just went live on my around my 10th year, wouldn't it? And just film the white screen and us talking. Maybe we'll do that. All right, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna keep going here because I feel like I need to do a little more cleaning. And then I will come back now with my ingredients because that is the next step. I will be right back. All right, so here we go. I have now uh, assorted, assembled, not assorted. I will have assorted ingredients that I have assembled for me to mix. The only questionable one was an eighth of a teaspoon of butter. Now, an eighth of a teaspoon is a tiny bit, so it's really an odd measurement. Uh, but, you know, back then, maybe that's the way they were thinking. Okay, so there's, the, there's my pinch of salt, my sugar, which is two tablespoons, now, what's an eighth of a teaspoon? Maybe I'll just use half of that. Because I read online, an eighth of a teaspoon is about a pinch. And then that was the butter. And then four tablespoons of light corn syrup. That's the largest uh, ingredient in the whole thing. Now mix that together and then put it in your pan. So that's what I'm going to do. Now remember, it did say to preheat, which I have already done. Now I will probably add a little food coloring and maybe some flavoring. I don't know, I haven't decided yet, but it's an optional, additional item. The fun part is, is that I get to use my two toys. It was always one thing I thought would be a fun video series would be to grab a bunch of ovens, a bunch of different little makers that I've used in the past, which may be the direction I'm going, hint, hint, maybe, maybe. I'm just still trying to gather my thoughts on this whole thing, this whole YouTube thing. Even after 10 years, I'm still trying to figure it out. Okay. So that goes in here, and then I need to get my temperature set. Now, if it was a regular stove, here, let me put this shallow bulb there to kind of Keep that tilted up. 
and then I will check the temp. I'm going to reset up here and I will check the temp on my unit to make sure it's hot and then I'll start cooking my creation here, my candy creation. There's more to scrape out though, so let me do that. And then you want it till it says it lightly turns brown. So we'll see if this thing does what it's supposed to do. Oop, a little too far away. All right, I'll be back now that that step is all done. There you go, it's sticky for sure. Okay, I am back, I have my instructions. I found a little peppermint extract while I was hunting for the green food coloring. I thought, good combination for this maker. And then, well, St. Patrick's Day is coming up too, depending on when you're watching this video. Okay, pour taffy mixture into pan of your Susie Homemaker candy maker. Candy maker must be preheated for 15 minutes before using. Put pan into heating chamber. That's the nice thing about this. Small hands couldn't fit in there, but you know, you know. Hands could easily fit in there. And then put into heating chamber and cook for 20 to 25 minutes. Now I was gonna do a quick temp check while we were here, because that's important. 114, uh, 200, so it's pretty hot. Maybe not, definitely not as hot as a stove top, but now I can watch it, slide it over, mix it, and keep going. And cook for 20 to 25 minutes, start my timer. Remove from heat and let cool in pan of water, not included, for 15 minutes. All right, well, I got time now. I've got 20 minutes. Let me go get a pan of water, and then I will check in and see if this starts bubbling and cooking and give me a better view. And, uh, well, pretty excited. I'll be right back. All right, well, it has been a few minutes, and it is bubbling, so I am going to just leave it. Maybe I'll let it record for a little while. There's some good bubbles. It does not say much about pulling it out, mixing it, or doing anything, but uh, we will see. I will keep track of it. It's now 17 minutes and 35 seconds left. And, uh, well, I can't wait to start making the taffy. That's what I'm really looking forward to. Hopefully you enjoyed the video so far. Let me know in the comments if you've made it this far. And I'm going to say the word oranges. Then I know for sure you've watched this part of the video. I'll be back. Okay, I am back. I'm trying to be quiet. I'm taking a temperature check. It's bubbling like crazy. Let's see, 155, but it's hard to do. Let me just give you a quick look here so you can see how nice it's bubbling. Then I can look inside. Okay, about 140, so I don't want to do that too much. It is starting to change color slightly. I will leave it now. I have uh, at least 10 more minutes. I have 13 more minutes of cooking, so I will let it go. Don't mind me, I'm just cleaning up in the background. Moving things around, closing things up. Now I'm gonna say the word pickle. So you know the first word, you know the second word, if you put in the comments that I know you've been listening all along. That was me dropping the instructions. Now I'm putting away the cleaning supplies. Ooh, I got sticky stuff everywhere. about 160. Yep, about 160.
Now the oven part, it did say, if you do not own the Suzy Homemaker candy maker, pour taffy mixture into a pot and bring to a boil on top of your home stove. That's going to go a lot faster. And boil only until mixture darkens slightly, or until candy thermometer reaches 240 degrees. Now we know we're not going to reach 240 degrees here, but it is starting to darken. And then immediately remove from heat and cool in a pan of water. It doesn't say ice water, it doesn't say refrigerator water, it just says a pan of water. So I have something off to the side for that. So I have probably another six minutes. Let me see exactly. Seven and a half. Seven and a half minutes. Do you see that? Where is that? There, it's hard to read. Okay, seven and a half minutes. Okay. Ooh, I just put my phone over there. It is kind of neat. I'm looking at this. I'm seeing the little uh, bubbles come up. They pop and then they heat the plastic. This is a piece of plastic here. And that's what you're seeing. It's pretty neat. Let me see if I can zoom in just slightly more. How's that? Maybe I can bring it up even more. There you go. Alright, I'll stop recording there and then I will check back now when uh, more time has expired. The new word is cheese puff. Now I've said three words. Someone put those in the comments and then I know you've been listening to the video and I got you a better camera angle straight in. Just a little worried about my camera lens. I'm pretty high up, kind of zoomed in so it should be okay for a little bit. I'll let that go and then I will check back with you in a little bit. I'll give you another like 20 seconds of just gurgling sugar. Okay, 15 seconds. It's definitely changed to a nice brown color. Timer seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Beep, 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 beep. Beep, 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 beep. Okay, let's see. And then I have a nice thing of water off to the side. Okay, yeah, so there you go. A nice golden brown. So now 10 minutes off to the side. Okay, let me set the timer again. Oh, 15 minutes. And let pool, okay, 15 minutes. I'll keep checking and I gotta be able to handle it, I guess. All right. Maybe I'll just poke at it. You know, it's hard for me not to do that. Now, of course, I haven't practiced this. This is my first time trying it. I've never done it before. Let me unplug this. Uh, so it's all new to me. There were no tests. All right. Yeah, it's a nice color. A nice golden brown. All right. I will, uh, oh, I promised you I would. Let me, oh, I don't have a tool handy. Hold on. Let's just see. Let's just see the consistency so I know. Okay, so yeah, you would not be able to do anything with that. It is just too liquidy. So I'll come back, check it every so often. All right, it's been five minutes. Let's see if it's workable. It's real close now, look at that. So it's not returning back completely to its original position. So I don't wait too much longer. I it says 10 more minutes, but look, it should stay in the taffy puller so I'll be coming back real soon yeah yeah mm -hmm. I'm just eating sugar but I have to hmm oh yeah turns the candy in my mouth hmm okay it's cr it's crunchy see how fast that changed so I'll keep checking. I gotta be able to pull it out, I guess. And so that it stays on here, I don't have to spin overly fast, because the speed, you don't want to be going just to try to keep it in the cooler, right? I don't know, I've never done this before. But that's what I'm assuming, so I'm getting my warm-ups ready. I'll be back then in another five minutes. All right, I'll tell you what, I think the stuff on the edges now is hard as rocks. I wanna get this out of here, so let me get this out of the way. 
I want to get some on my tap, I'm going to use a spatula. Yeah, as soon as I took it out of the water, look, it already started to harden up. Let's see if this works better. Ooh, maybe keep it in the water, because the water is warm. I might have to heat that up, I don't know. It just seemed to be a nuisance. Let me grab some of it. Okay. Stretch it over these. It's still warm in my hands, and let's just see what happens here. Okay. It's doing it. It's almost like not enough. Let me see if I can scrape some more out of here. Hmm. I think we almost got it. I'll tell you what, let me heat the water up. I'll try to soften this up just a little and I will try again. I'll be right back. Okay, so I took it out of that pan. I put it in the micro just for uh, uh, 10 seconds to see if I can soften this up and I was able to, so let's try that again. Otherwise, I'm saying, I'm gonna say this one's pretty difficult out of all the makers I've tried. Spoon it in, okay. Let's just get that going there. Well, let me stretch it. Hmm. What do you think? Let's connect it. There we go. Maybe I can add to it. It almost seems like you need more. Let me see if I can scrape more. Well, my guess now is that not many kids uh, made taffy. Unless, of course, their parents were taffy makers by trade. Okay, there we go. Let's stretch all of that now. Ooh, wait a minute. That might be it. Okay, it's changing colors. That's working. I like that. Wait a minute, I spoke too soon. Let me get a couple drops of green on there. Must finish through my, there we go. Ooh, it looks like, like a peppermint candy. Speaking of that, let's get a little peppermint extract in there. Mmm, smells good. Hmm. I'll tell you what, I gotta work quick. Let me give you a quick side shot here. So you can see my machine in action. I'm gonna take back what I said. I just think it's something that, one, I've never done before, so it's not, uh, it's all the timing. Maybe I'd cook a little less. But now the machine is struggling just a little. Let me speed it up. Okay, now it said butter your fingers. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Butter your fingers. Take taffy from puller. Okay. Yeah, you know what? It sure does look like taffy and feel like taffy. Okay, my fingers are buttered. Mm-hmm. Now it's more pliable. It doesn't tell you how long, and then it says, let's see. Roll taffy into balls. Okay. That's still probably a little harder than you'd want it. It's almost like candy cane. So, you know, it would great if you said, well, using the taffy machine for, you know, three minutes. Okay, that's as close as I can get to a ball. I'd have to soften it up again. Okay, put on a piece of paper to harden. 
So is it taffy or is it hard candy? Hmm. I don't know. It smells good. Ooh, look at that. Let me just take a bite. Surprisingly, it's pretty good. It's like a candy can. Well, I've seen those YouTube videos where someone's like, tap, 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 with their candy. I'm going to clip these a little smaller. Well, I still can. I probably should just soften them up a little bit because nobody wants a massive giant piece, do they? I don't know. You see, it's still somewhat soft. Oh, shot across the room. Hmm. How about another piece? All right. I'm going to leave these, clean up. And we'll see if I could soften these. It's actually pretty tasty. Mm, mm -hmm, mm. Crunchy, but tasty. I'll be right back. Okay, well, it did not take that long in the microwave to make it a nice, pliable. Candy again. Now it's that shape into balls. That's what I'm doing. Here, I'll make like a, like a peppermint. Here, I'll make a mini candy cane. They're actually, believe it or not, Here's my mini candy cane. Pretty good. I'm very impressed with the flavor. Okay, there's my presentation plate. Now, to make them perfectly round, that just not, just not jiving right now with me. But, you know. See, look at that. This one really melted. So is it really toffee? It's until it hardens. Like to me, this is toffee. It's nice and warm. I'm gonna try a piece of that. I'll let that cool down just a second. All right, overall, I have to say I was a, a little disappointed there because I've never done it before. I know all the candy makers are gonna say, well, you know, if you heat that up to, you know, 233 degrees for only three minutes and, uh, and then you do this and that and then you, I know. Okay, try it on the Susie Homemaker set and then get back to me, would you? I'm probably the only person in the world that's ever tried it on that. Okay, here we go. Now, this is soft like taffy. Mm-hmm. Although, when it gets in your teeth, it hardens. I know what you're going to say. Well, you know, <laughs> whatever. I had fun. I reached my goal. I got some tasty candy. Oh, this one's got a little something on it. I saw that floating around earlier. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty it's pretty good actually, surprisingly. Reminds me of a candy cane. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you had fun. I had fun. I do have more different kinds of sets like this that I will bring to you in the future. And as always, thanks for supporting me and Lucky Penny Shop. Remember those three words? I want to see those. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you just switch to the end. You gotta rewatch the video because I have three special keywords in there. Don't cheat. Don't go look in the other comments. And thanks for watching, everybody. Later. I'll probably finish this. I'm not going to chew anymore, but it's just like a regular piece of hard candy. Mm. Oh, yeah. I said later, didn't I? All right. I'll see you next time. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up.